all right guys what's going on justin from 79 productions and today we are going to be working on the red civic and we are going to be putting on a universal max peating rods turbo kit on this thing i am super excited and we got a lot of work to do so let's get to it all right guys so here we go we got the max peating rods turbo kit this is a universal turbo kit that comes with the T3, T4 turbo. Now, everything is in this box besides the turbo manifold. So this is a universal turbo kit. You get your turbo manifold and you make it work. We got the inner cooler, all the piping, everything that we're gonna need to install this besides the uh, turbo manifold. So let's uh, get to it. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to put this turbo kit on and I'm going to have to remove the header, the air intake, and I'm going to have to take off the uh, oil pan and put the bung on it. And we got a lot of work to do, so let's start taking this stuff off. So we got to remove the air intake and super easy to do this. We're just going to take it out at this front clamp. That way I can... Uh, keep this rubber and you know keep it for the next project that I use super easy that's it and then I'm just gonna tighten that back up so I don't lose the clamp and this thing is uh, good to go we're all it's off what we're gonna do now we are gonna take these nine header bolts off and I already got seven of them off this is the uh last two but we're gonna go ahead and take all of these bolts off that way we can drop the header down and go ahead and put the uh turbo manifold on so this is uh easy and we're going to reuse this gasket. It's a still Honda gasket, so we're going to reuse that, but we're just going to set this down and slide it out from the bottom. All right, and that's it. So here we go. We got the Max Peden Rods Turbo, and we got a cheap manifold that we're going to go ahead and uh, install this with. It's got the t3 t4 flange same as the turbo and what we need to do now we need to go ahead and loosen up these bolts that way we can clock the turbo we can turn it and get it to sit where we want it to so we're going to go ahead and do that we're going to clock the turbo and what we're doing here we have to loosen all of these bolts and they're a little snug but they're not too tight but we need to there we go broke that one free and we're going to be able to turn this around once we get all of these bolts loose so now that we got all those bolts loose if you see this moves and this is what i mean by clocking the turbo we're going to be so this is the drain line and we want this to be down and we want the manifold part to be up so and we're gonna need to turn this down and we're gonna loosen these here and do the same exact thing over here and now that we have that right about where we want it we can go ahead and turn this portion down but we're just gonna go ahead and snug that to hold it where it needs to be. All right guys, so we're getting ready to turn this side and we just need to break these loose and we should be good to go to turn it. And I'm not gonna take these out, I just wanna make it loose enough just to where I could if you could see, let me hold it here. Now, if you could see, I'm turning it just like that. And 
the manifold is gonna hold it about right here. So I need that to angle down. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and snug it up right there. Now guys, you can always adjust this on the car. So if it's not perfect here, we can come back and adjust it on the car. And I'm just snugging this down. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tighten them down later. But we can always come back and adjust it on the car. But we're right about where we want it to be. All right, so now that we got the turbo where we want it to, we're just gonna go ahead and tighten up all these bolts and we're gonna go ahead and put it on the uh, the turbo manifold. So we're looking good. Yeah, we're looking good here and uh, we'll just go ahead and put this on the manifold now. So we got everything tightened down and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the gasket. They supply a steel gasket. They have bolts, but I went ahead and upgraded these to grade eight bolts. So we're gonna use that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and set this on. Let's go ahead. It's perfect. So let's line it up. Pull these bolts from the back. And we're good. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put a locking washer and the nut on it. Now the turbo is gonna put a lot of the man a lot of weight on the manifold, so it's gonna go ahead and lean down once I set this other nut on it but that's okay because we got to put four of them in and we're just gonna go ahead and set that down that way we could put the other ones in and then we'll go ahead and snug it down all right so what we're gonna do we're just tightening this down and we're gonna go ahead and tighten all four down and I got uh, locking washers on this that way they don't back out, so let's kind of get this thing uh, snugged up and we can move on. All right, guys, so this thing is together. Everything is tightened down. Clock the turbo. I got the drain line on the bottom, the feed line on the top. This is where everything connects, the feed line and the drain line. And I swapped these bolts out for some grade eight bolts grade eight bolts and these uh have lock and washers so we're not gonna have no problems with this thing holding on staying on but yeah this thing looks good and super excited about this we're gonna go ahead and uh turbo this civic here we go guys we are ready to put this thing on i'm super excited we are doing this one step at a time and i'm just gonna go ahead and line these up and we'll just go ahead and uh, put some uh, bolts in this thing. Yeah. Once we get these bolts in, we could go ahead and snug them down. guys this is the way this comes up it's a little bit different than the header so it is not you know sometimes you gotta you gotta pull it in and out to kind of make the uh, make the bolts go in that way you can have room to get them in the uh, on the top now the bottom ones are super easy because there's nothing down there so these ones, the bottom ones just go right in without any problem. It's the top ones that you gotta play with and get them in there. All 
All right, guys, so we got the manifold on and we are just gonna tighten these down. And if you could, you could see, I can't even get a wrench in there, uh, the back end of the wrench. So I'm gonna have to tighten it down with the front and then we'll snug all of these down and we're good to go. We're good to move on to the next step. All right, guys, so we're on the, under the car and we need to drain the oil out. We're gonna be removing this plug for the 10 AN bung, that cap, and then we're gonna be removing the uh, oil filter to put the uh, feed line on. And we're just gonna let that go ahead and drain. And once it's drained, we'll be able to work on everything we need to get to. All right guys, now we got the oil drained out and we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the bolt back on. And then we'll snug it down. And we're good right there. All right guys, so what we have here, we have a 10 AN bung cap, and I could have swapped out this oil pan before and just not had that, but I knew chances are I'd be going turbo again, so we just got a bung cap for it, and this is a 10 AN fitting. All right guys, so here we go. We got the feed line here, and we got a sandwich plate, and this is gonna allow us to, we're gonna screw this on to where the oil filter goes. This sets in here, we screw it on, and then the oil filter sits on here. I'm showing you off the car because it's hard to kind of film it under the car, but the oil filter screw on this, and this a uh, sandwich against the block. This is a sandwich plate. So we're gonna do that, and then this line is the turbo feed line, the feed line, so Basically, we're just going to screw it into here and this is going to this is going to give us that oil supply that we need. So it's going to allow us to feed, feed oil to the turbo. And that's going to be it. And now we're just going to run this thing through the back of the engine on this. We're going to loosen this up. And we need to take the we need to take the filter off to put the uh, sandwich plate on. There we go. That's loose. Pull this wrench out. And once we get this filter off, once we get this filter off, we can get the uh, get the sandwich plate on. Hopefully, I don't drop a bunch of oil on my camera. So let's go ahead and take this off. So we could go ahead and get that sandwich plate on. There we go. All right guys, so this bag comes with a turbo kit and inside it, we got our oil feed line. We got the feed line fitting the drain line fitting we got the drain line here got an aluminum bung i'm not going to use that but we got the 10 an fittings to go on here and we got the hardware so this is pretty complete all right guys so here we go we got the feed line here and we got a sandwich plate and this is going to allow us to we're gonna screw this on to where the oil filter goes. This sets in here, we screw it on, and then the oil filter sits on here. I'm showing you off the car because it's hard to kind of film it under the car, but the oil filter screw on this, and this a uh, sandwich against the block. This is a sandwich plate. 
So we're going to do that. And then this line is the turbo feed line, the feed line. So basically we're just going to screw it into here and this is going to, this is going to give us that oil supply that we need. So it's going to allow us to feed, feed oil to the turbo. And that's going to be it. And now we're just going to run this thing through the back of the engine. We're going ahead and we're putting the uh, sandwich plate and the feed line in. And we're just going to set this up through here. That way we can put it on the back of the block where the oil filter is. And we should be good to go. Alright guys, so now that we got the sandwich plate on, we're just going to go ahead and put this oil filter on. And that's going to be it. And we're good to go ahead and uh, start working from the top. All right, guys, so we got the feed line hooked up to the back of the engine. And what we need to do now is hook it up top. Now, before I hook the feed line up, I have to hook this fitting up. And if you look, guys, there's a small hole that's a restrictor that way just the right amount of oil supply gets through there not too much it's just a small hole but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead and hook that up and trying to do this with one hand but we're gonna go ahead and hook this up set that in there and we'll go ahead and put it on here now, now this, uh, now this fitting is the exact size it comes with the kit. So we'll just go ahead and put that on there and we got it in. Gasket's sitting a little bit to the side, but that's all right. We'll get it in when we get the other bolt in. Set that right. We're going to come back and put this other bolt in. And that's it. And now that we got those on, we could come back and uh, tighten them up. So now we're just going to use an Allen key and tighten these things up. Alright guys, so we got that top fitting on and what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and take the feed line and just screw it in. Now, I'm only going to put this on hand tight. I kind of just, I kind of just want it on. I'm putting it on hand tight because I'm going to have to take this off. Once I uh, start turning, rotating the engine, I need to prime the turbo and make sure there's oil running through this line. So I'm just going to put that on hand tight for now. And uh, we're going to have to take it off and just make sure we got oil coming through that feed line before we fire this thing up. All right, guys. So we're getting ready to put the, uh, the drain line on. And once we put this drain line on, we can go ahead There we go.
All right, guys, so now that we got that tightened up, we could go ahead and run the, uh, the turbo drain line into the bottom of the oil pan. All right, guys, so we're ready to make the drain line and the kit comes with these fittings. I already kind of measured about where I want it. The good thing is this is a universal kit, so the drain line is way longer than it needs to be. So if I mess up on this first cut, I can always come back and make another one. So we're going to cut this here. I wrap some tape around so the uh, braided still doesn't stick out. And I'm going to cut it right about at the end of that. All right, guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and make this cut. So put these fittings on, it's real easy. We're gonna go ahead and remove that tape and basically you could see how it kind of kept it, kept the, uh, the braided steel line down a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and set this fitting up and basically what this is gonna do is, I'll show you right now once I get this off, so This line is going to kind of thread into here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then once it's in, I'm going to screw it back in. I'm once it's so the line's going to thread in through there. And once it's in, I'm going to screw it back onto this and this is going to press inside of here. So, that's the uh idea of these 10 a.m. fittings and we're going to try to keep these down as much as possible and be careful you don't get stuck in the hand with these guys because they are sharp and it does not feel good and that's going to be it we're going to keep on turning this till it gets all the way seated there we go and you can see it's seated against that yeah it's seated against that and now we could go ahead and see it's kind of hard to get it in right there because the way it's seated but you want that little pressure and then you can start turning this on and once you get that pressure we're gonna go ahead and use some wrenches and it's gonna lock itself in there all right guys so we got these on and we just need to tighten them down and for all you guys that say I should use the correct wrenches this is what I got so this is what I'm using we're just gonna go ahead and this gets uh kind of hard as you move along and that's gonna be that piece on the end forcing its way into the uh, into the holes all right guys so we went ahead and made the uh, return line and this thing was not so easy to make but you know it's one of those things the more you practice with it the better you'll get and if you use the right wrenches, you won't have these little scuff marks, but that's okay. That's not going to make it leak. So right now that we got this thing together, we're going to go ahead and put it on the car. All right. So we're going to go ahead and install this drain line now. And then that's going to go there. And then this is going to come around and come into here. And now that we got these on, guys, we can go ahead and tighten this up. And then we are done with the installation. We're going to go ahead and tighten up both of them.
This one's a little bit harder to get to because I got a bolt right here, but I can still reach it and kind of turn it slow. So that's good. And these don't have to be super tight anyway, so we'll be fine. That's it and we are good all right guys so we're done with everything on the bottom and I had to remake this and make this a little bit longer I didn't like the way it was fitting before but right now it fits perfect and I'm glad there was uh, some extra holes with the kit so that helped me out now I got a little bit of give in case there's any movement but we're done here and uh, we're going to go uh, start working on the uh, wastegate. All right, guys. So now we're getting ready to install the uh, wastegate that comes with the Max Peating Rods Turbo. Comes with this ring. And we're going to go ahead and put a gasket on there. And then we'll go ahead and uh, put these bolts in. And these are going to tighten up from the bottom. But we're just going to go ahead and fit all of that in. Make sure that ring's staying on there. And then we're going to go ahead and... There we go. That thing's on there. And now we're going to get the, uh, the nuts that come with the kit. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, hand tighten these things down to like a come back and tighten them up. Wish I had another set of hands. I don't, but we got it. And that's gonna be, now we'll go ahead and put this other one in. And it's as simple as that. And now we can go ahead and tighten it down. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and snug this uh, wastegate down. And once we get this tight, it's a little difficult to kind of get the, the Allen key in here. But once we get this thing tight, we can go ahead and install the, uh, the uh, down pipe, the dump tube. All right, guys, so we got the turbo on, the uh, feed line, the drain line. We got the wastegate set up. I need to come back and do the intercooler piping with the intercooler, but we got to wrap this up here today, guys. The, the weather started to change on me. It started to rain, so we're going to wrap this up, but I'm super excited where we are. We got most of the hard stuff done, and... It should be easy to come hook up the piping and get all of that stuff done. So uh, now I am going to have to cut and adjust the piping. But for where we are right now, guys, I'm real happy with it. I got a little more to do. So this is going to be part one. And on part two, we're going to finish this thing up, get it driving and have some fun with it. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. I uh, want to give a big shout out to Max Peden Rods. I've used their turbo kits in the past, and they are great. So if you're interested in this one, I'll put a link in the description. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at 79th Productions. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. God bless you guys.